Hello Space Engineers, welcome back to Hyphestus Prime, I'm Wellington6012, hope everybody is all good today. Right, uh, so, here we are, Port Rutherford. i tell you what, the moon, I have really enjoyed being up there, and it's been quite a sort of uh, learning curve, not a learning curve, but a good learning uh, in anticipation, a trial run, in anticipation of uh, going to Mars, which is not far away and uh yes really enjoyed my time up there but my word it's good to be home the birds are chirping the trees are swaying sunlight and air <laughs> uh yes i am really happy to be back here so let's uh let's get on with things and we'll talk more about what i'm sort of gonna do as i do it and that's the wrong button we'll try that one there uh here Right, so, first things first, let's just go over and have a look at the ores and some of the production type stuff, and, uh, yeah. So, there is the platinum and cobalt that's out of the Manama rocket. So, one of the tasks for today is going to be getting the drop pod um, back in here, uh, so that's still out on the lake. And, yeah, today's just going to be really a bit of a tidy up day. I am really well aware that, um, and I do apologise, the last episode, 48 minutes, so really quite long. Uh, today, I'm just intending to do a short one, tidy up some stuff, uh, do some prep work for a little project that I'm going to do next episode, and yeah, I'll, I'll probably talk more, talk more about what that is next episode, yeah. Uh, really wanted to do it today, quite excited about doing it, but uh, no, it's going to have to wait. We need to tidy up stuff. So, yeah, just looking at a short episode today. Um, here's our ingots and stuff. So, lots of iron, which is good. And the gold, we haven't quite got the gold yet, but we've got plenty of platinum. Okay, what we might do, actually, is just quickly go into the refinery. And we'll find some gold. Where's all the gold? Oh, it's all in the drop pod. Okay. Right, so, scrub that. Um, just while we're here, though, uh, the uh, progress bar. So I've put this on the ore, ore containers and the component ones and this one. So, just so you're aware, automatic LCDs 2, script, and cargo P is the sort of keyword. And then inside those bracket things, whatever you call those bracket things, is the name of the container so um, that's just good at a glance so that's filling up because there's heaps of silicon in there and lots of nickel hmm anyway that's good come over here to the components now just while we're here we will sort of queue up some of these so yeah i mean look we're only at 42 percent i mean this has been overflowing at times so that's just i guess how much stuff we're going through and steel plate 3k all right so what i want to do is another thing that i'm going to do today is going to go up to the uh, mount rutherford communications hub so first of all i just do a couple of bottles and then because we're back on earth i'm running out of it then small grid laser antenna Do one of those. And two of those. And a couple, three batteries, four batteries, four batteries. So that's, uh, that's good. And yeah, okay, I'll just, uh, I'll go into this other one, into the number two, and we'll queue up. 5,000 of those, 2,000 of those, so that should be fine, uh, interior plates maybe, and small steel tubes, and motors, alright, sorry, just let me do this, 1,000 of those, 1,000 of those, a few hundred of those, uh, yeah, so that will, that will do for now, right, so, um, that's that, that's that. Right, I'll just quickly grab these bottles. I think it was the number one. Yes. We'll just give them a fill up. 
all these walkways and I fly around. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so yes, that's that. Um, this is all good, all happening, that's all fantastic. Yeah, okay, we're in a good place. Now, in here, this is my uranium container. So I'm going to have to take those, I think, up to Sirius with me. Yeah, they're probably more required up there. Alright, let's go and have a look out here. I'll just jetpack out there, I won't, um, won't take this just yet. So we need to put together the Aether and bring in those uh, drop pods. And as I say, head up to Mount Rutherford and do some stuff there. So I think we'll do the drop pods first so that we can just uh, get that refining. So that's the full one that landed, um, that landed without damage. So those retro thrusters really did a good job. Yeah. And then this one, because it's upright, I can actually pick it up with the um, with the centipede. This one has gone flat, so I'm going to have to grab it with its merge block. But that's fine. Um, yeah. Okay. I was going to say a little bit of damage to the connector. The connector's gone. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. Uh, and then I need to find the aether, which I, the main unit is over there somewhere. And again, uh, benefit of fine sight, next time I need to build my moon base on the other side of the moon, so it looks like the Death Star. Um, yeah, the big, the big hole there from the voxels. Hmm, anyway. Um, now, and I think the boosters are over here somewhere, in fact, I think I can see one right there. I can see smoke. Ruh roll. Why is that? smoking oh that's not good I wonder oh really oh okay that's um that's not flash <laughs> yeah okay um where's the other one uh must be over here somewhere because they normally is that it? No. Alright, well, I'll have to find that later. <laughs> I think I think that'll be an off-camera thing. Um, but yeah, the drop pods, is it just me or is it getting a bit murky? Hmm. Alright. Yeah. So, yeah, and the eighth, the uh, main unit's over there somewhere. I did see it in the um, entity list but uh, so I know roughly where it is but not exactly all right so that's um that's what we sort of got to do there drop pods the aether and put some extra batteries in and another laser antenna up at Mount Rutherford also uh, oh, actually just um this this uh, industrial lift so when I made it there were some comments from three different people so I don't have that in front of me now but uh, thank you to those people you know who you are who suggested that one of the pistons well a pair of pistons that I slow down so that it doesn't come down with such a thud when it gets to the last little bit or, or up to a thud so I've done that I've um, uh, adjusted a pair of pistons just to go ever so slightly slower than the rest of it and uh, yeah it's improved it it still does come down with a bit of a slap so when it goes up it does uh, just very gently touch the top but then the magnetic uh, connector kicks in and that just makes it go a bit of a thump and this one here, yeah, just that last little drop also makes it go with a bit of a thump. Not as bad as what it was, but still does it. So uh, it's it's half a victory. So thank you to those people that suggested that. And yeah, so the other thing, probably won't do it on camera because it's going to be a little bit sort of boring, is I 
just do need to put sort of all that stuff over there, over there. And also just thinking about more of a gantry type, um, you know, uh, yeah, a gantry that I can walk into the door here. So that will sort of, I think, unfold. That's what I'm thinking, just have sort of a shape like that. So I will probably do that off camera. It would probably be a good thing to do with a bit of a... Um, what do you call it? Not not uh, not a montage. Uh, a time lapse. Time lapse. Problem is, is I can't use my second character. Well, I can, but it doesn't work very well. I can't really use my second character uh, in here because it all just glitches out. And if you look at the uh, intro that I did today, when the Manama rocket lands on the pad, you see that I've actually captured that from a distance. Um, because it is, uh, you'll see that it's off centre, but it's not, it's centred as you can see. But you can just sort of see how it's all glitching, and yeah, it's a couple of metres out, um, the perspective of the uh, extra player versus what I'm seeing. So, yeah, I don't know what causes that, I don't know how to fix it. Uh, wasn't a problem up on the moon, because I didn't have so many subgrids. It's, it's, it's subgrids that it affects. I didn't have so many subgrids up on the moon, so I was able to do a little bit more of um, those sorts of things. Anyway, right, so let's um, let's grab the centipede, and we'll go... Where's that noise coming from? Okay, something's glitching because there's a noise. Okay, <laughs> hopefully that goes away. I don't know what's causing that. Well, that stopped it anyway. All right, so uh, just oh, I've got to remember how to fly the centipede now. So we'll unlock it, and then we sort of turn everything on. Pokey pokey. So I, uh, I did. I was going to take this inside and uh, try and get it up the right way, but then I thought about it, and actually I don't need this because it's not got the retro thrusters on. So I think I'm just going to recycle it. I can always print off another one. Yeah. So we'll um, shove that down the hole. Where's our shover button? Um, yeah. I mean, I spent all this time making this 
I never really haven't. I've used it sometimes, but anyway, let's. Uh, since we're here, let's watch. <laughs> There it goes. Um, now the other thing that uh, just I was going to mention earlier as well. Oh. Ooh. Okay, that made a bit of a bang. Um, yeah, the other thing I was going to just uh, again full disclosure. So the intro that um, I recorded. And I actually edited it before I started today. So, uh, yeah, it was a little bit of a long one. But, um, yeah, I just sort of felt it told the story of getting back here. Because it was quite a trip and it did take me a while. Now, why is that still not going? It seems very slow. I think it was just about ready to grab hold of all that. Uh, yes, yeah, so, full disclosure, the um, Manama rocket went really well. Uh, the, well, it didn't, it didn't. Um, first of all, the butternut. I sent that on a path back to the Sirius, and it overshot by about 100 kilometers. <laughs> so, it's it's an awesome little vehicle, quite maneuverable for doing exactly what it does, the old welding and the grinding. Um, but long duration missions, it does not work very well at all. So I actually uh, used the spectator cam and I teleported to it, flew it back, uh, died halfway because I ran out of oxygen because it doesn't have any oxygen on it. And look at that, that's now really doing quite well. Awesome, okay. Uh, and yes, so that was the butternut. And then the Mariana rocket, that's, um, actually I wanted that on still, didn't I? That works really well uh, up in space, but... Um, down here on the planet it doesn't work very well at all it's not very maneuverable i came down and that's why there's a bit of a, a gap in the edit i came down way over there sort of halfway to the trading post and had to sort of fly it sideways and then eventually got it onto the right spot uh yeah so that did take quite a bit of effort uh, to, to land that properly so it from the moon to sirius and into free fall i used i think about three or four percent hydrogen and then just in the atmosphere to land on the pad, I think I used about 50% of its tanks. So, oh, anyway. Uh, I'll have to get better at that, I think. Because I will be taking it up and down a few times. Right, so, a uh, couple of things that, uh, just before we head off up to the um, Mount Runifid, is I do want to add a little bit of a addition. Yeah, so a couple of small merge blocks, just as an extension. Uh, do I actually need... Yeah, that's fine. And a connector. Again, small grid. It will make sense when I do it. And a welder. Small grid. Here we go. Alright, so what I want to do is, so this is going to be for picking up the um, Aether when I find it. So I'll pick up the Aether on the way back from uh, Mount Rutherford, and yeah, I'll have to deal with those um, other, the, the booster things. Now, what I want to do here is add a connector there and add the welder so just a single welder rather than the whole um, welder head so what I'll do is uh, I'll use this up there and then I'll grind it off and that is just simply oh that was the wrong button I wanted to lock it uh, and that's just simply for the you know the things um, the batteries so what I'm going to do is, in the inventory here, I will just pop the... I'll get rid of those. Oops. So, why is all that stuff in there, I wonder? Okay, well, we'll just... Uh, I 
okay sorry let me sort this out uh, and what I want to do is I want to load up um, the yeah I want to load up the battery cells and stuff so actually I'll, I'll skip through that so I will uh, I'll sort this out and we'll head off up to um, Mount Runifit I'll take uh, a few iron ingots and also uh, the battery cells and the stuff for a laser antenna small grid one so we'll see you up there All right, so here we are uh, back at uh, Mount Rutherford. Haven't been up here for a while. So what I want to do is um, put in a fourth, yeah, a fourth wind turbine. So probably put it here, I guess, and put a battery at the bottom of each one because that's a bit of places any. Uh, but what I did was, yeah, I've only got the power cells in there, so it's only the power cells that I'm gonna weld up with that because I don't want to accidentally weld up the rest of the um, yeah the rest of the tower uh, here now um, something else that I did on the way back was the um, the links the relay links yeah I uh, I was gonna stop with the Mariana rocket uh, on the way past and give them a bit of a top up because they are actually uh, running quite flat and um, can we see them at the moment yes they are working at the moment so okay they're up to 10% they were down to 5% um, so what I've done is I've turned I mean it was never turned off it was uh, always going but um, the timer is still going but now it turns it off and on every um, every cycle so that reduces the power consumption by half and now they're actually raising it so uh, that's good now that's actually one of the things that i'm doing up here so what i'll we'll do is where's my ingot container is that oh, it's missing but i think it's all just in the same container i can't remember how it all works up here so we'll just throw that in there so what i want is okay we'll do the we'll do the the power first yeah we'll do that and uh yeah so what i'm going to do once I've got that turbine sorted, is I am going to put in a laser antenna with a synced timer. So what I need to do, okay, I'll, I'll put these, um, I'll put these in now, and then I'll, um, I'll come back and talk about what I'm going to do with the. Uh, need to make that silver. I'll, I'll do this, and then I'll talk about what I'm going to do with the laser antenna. So uh, it's to do with tomorrow's build. And it started snowing. Right, so that's uh, that's the batteries done. I'll just get rid of those because I don't need them anymore. Right, and I heard some noises from back here. Oh, yes, I did. Oh, <laughs> uh, because I'm a bit shorter. I haven't got the um, haven't got the battery module on. So, uh, whoops. Oh, I left to um, left to sort that. Ah, oh, I've lost the light as well. Ah, oh, there, it hmm okay we'll come back to that I'll, I'll sort that out before i go right uh so yes there are oh, i still need to put some signal lights on as well right but that's um the turbines going not very spinny at the moment uh, i've linked that up underground as well that's the mining so that's all good right so the other thing that i want to do while i'm up here is put in a laser antenna to reach Mars. Now, as I was sort of um, saying before, with the uh, relay links, I want this to just operate every so often, so maybe 25% of the time, so maybe two minutes on, eight minutes off, potentially. Yeah, 
that's the sort of um, that's the plan there. Uh, so we will just grab some parts and yeah, the laser antenna. There it is. Ten semiconductors. Okay. What I need is uh, to do some more computers, but the semiconductors I have, um, I've got in here. There we go. So I just need some class and stuff. Right. Okay. So what we'll do is I will just attach it to there. Get rid of you and add a small head. Now, I didn't grab any timers. I might, I'll put them in under there somewhere. So, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. what do we want? Yeah, so the purpose of this is for my little, um, oops, my little mission tomorrow tomorrow next episode I don't actually know when that'll be uh, so yeah the I don't want to say too much about the mission it was suggested to me and I think it's a really good idea so I'm quite looking forward to do it so grab some of those right. and I'll get a timer block so while I'm up here I need to put a timer onto the centipede and one on the base as well and get them synced so I'll get them going the same time and that way the t there's a timer on here I wonder if there's actually a spare one no, I'll just I'll add one on the side uh, yeah so the so they'll be synced and then when I do my build next episode I'll be able to sync the timer on that build with the timer that's uh, up here so that um yeah because just how power hungry the uh what's all that from oh that's from that yeah just with how power hungry everything is all this stuff staying in there with how power hungry the uh laser antennas are because i'm definitely going to need a laser antenna to reach mars um, so that gives you a bit of a clue. So I'm heading to Mars next episode. Yet I'm not heading to Mars next episode. Hmm. Right. What do I want? Timer. And, um, there you go. Alright. So uh, where am I going to put this? Uh, I might put it just hide it under here. And not that anybody's going to see it. I'm just going to get rid of that silver colour. I'll um, I'll put it in here. So this is um, I'll put it up there. So this is just my underground um, area for connecting connecting the towers. Get a bit of resource, that sort of thing. So, well, I don't think we've been in here for a while, but it does exist. And when I'm going to call this, um, as laser sync. And then I'll just need to put one on to centipede somewhere. What I'll do is I'll I'll just pop it on here for now because it's only temporary. With that in mind, we'll make it pink. Oh, and Does that work? No, I can't paste stuff in here. That's a bit annoying. 
Alright. So timer, Mars, laser, sync. Kill. Alright. So, uh, yeah, I think that's, um, we'll just double check this. So that's. Alright. <laughs> How about we lift that back up? So I can't see any reason why that's not going to be able to reach Mars. So we will uh, lock you and turn you off. Yep. All right. So that's um that's us for up here, I think. All we need to do is just set up these timers. So let's just pop into here. Um. Actually, I'm going to need to put another set of timers on in order to do it like 20% of the time. All right, that's good. Up. So we'll try that programming again. We'll just jump back into the uh, nice warm seat. And then that will be us for today. Uh, I'm going to pull the pin there. I've actually done quite a bit today, which, um, yeah, sort of necessary stuff. So we'll just very quickly program these up. So uh, what we want to do is this to turn on after two minutes. So this will be running for two minutes while it's on. So there's the laser there it is. So we want to turn it off after two minutes and restart the mount right of that timer. Start. And this one is going to go for two minutes. So that's that. And then the 80% will go for eight minutes. And what we want to do with that one is turn that on. So after eight minutes, it's going to turn it on. And that will last for two minutes. So it's going to turn it on, it's going to start that. Yeah, okay. So that's cool. And then we just need to um, do the same, uh, which is just, this is basically, this is the sink here, essentially. These ones. So we'll just set them up. One, two, oh, and they just need to restart the other one. That one there. And then the same for that one. So, as I say, with that, we'll pull the pin there. Thanks everybody for watching today. I hope you did enjoy it. It was sort of a necessary day today to tidy up all these bits and pieces before we sort of uh, get on to the next stage of the build, which um, is going to be pretty busy in the next few episodes. So yeah, okay, we'll just um, start both of these at the same time, and now they should be in sync with each other. Awesome, 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 awesome. So when I get back down to um, Fort Rutherford and I build what I'm building tomorrow, I can do another set of timers and sync with all of these. So, uh, until then, stay safe out there everybody, and have a good one.